problem with space is a big enough collision can create a chain reaction and form like a space junk dust cloud. And we couldn't leave this planet, then that's a big problem. So one of the reasons why space fascinates me so much is because I was raised in a NASA household. One of my grandmothers was a head of NASA's uh, secretary. She was one of the first employees ever at the organization. So when I was a kid, I would hang around quite a bit at Goddard Space Center to the point where even the head of NASA approved a little NASA spacesuit to be made for me with real patches and things like that. When we're dealing with space, we now call it New Space IoT for a reason. Problem with space is if you have to upgrade something, you can't just go, hey, I'll just pop right up there and increase the computing power. Once it's there, it's usually there. So one of the biggest fears that we have about space is something that hopefully won't come true, but it's called the Kessler Syndrome. And what that means is once there is a big enough of a collision, it can create a chain reaction to cause space debris, space junk, to start smashing into each other all over the orbit and form like a space junk dust cloud. And that would mean that we couldn't get communications outbound and we couldn't leave this planet. And the problem is it's now so cheap to build something like attack CubeSats or even attack certain types of uh, larger space satellites, you could cause collisions because there's now more and more new space IoT. And if it goes rogue, then that's a big problem. Now, currently, our space treaties only cover governments, and now we have the Jeff Bezos of the world setting up what, basically whatever they want. And imagine if those rich folks who love space so much go rogue and cause some sort of issue, leave their systems very attractive for an attacker. We rely on different types of mapping software. We rely on payment systems for uh, credit cards, and much of that happens in space. Pre-COVID and post-COVID, we'll rely more on air travel and their navigation systems and communications are done through space. Our maritime, if you want to order something from a big shop, it's got to be shipped from China, for example. So maritime navigation also occurs from space. When's the last time you pulled out a paper map to go anywhere? Thank you.